is heavy. This is heavy. Oh my God. Well, I Ooh. guess I'll get the party started because. Get the party started, Terry Lewis. Just standing here, man, I got to be the luckiest guy in the whole wide world. Yeah. Because I just had Janet Jackson induct me into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. How about that? Can't do no more. That's right. But man, there's so many thank yous to be had here. I have my mother here tonight. Mom, this all started out in the basement for us. And we were making noise, boy. I don't know how she tolerated that. And we used to hear every day, turn that shit down. So I thank you, Mom, for tolerating all of that noise. <laughs> I love you. I want to think, my brother's in the time. Yeah. That's Morris, Jesse, Jellybean, Monty, Jimmy Jam, myself, and Jerome. Yeah. Because ain't nobody bad like the time. But there's no time without the purple man. And we all have to bow down when we say the word Prince. And we have to thank Clarence Avon. The Black Godfather. The Black Godfather, who gave us a great opportunity and actually gave us the autonomy to just make music. He didn't chase us and tell us what to do. He just said, bring it to me when you're done. And that helped us form our ability to create. And I'd like to thank my lovely wife who holds me down, and she is so awesome, Indira. Thank you so much, I love you, baby. And I'm gonna let Jimmy Jam speak because I can't do no more, I'm too high. Fix me up, girl. My stylist. Janet Jackson's my stylist, y'all. You know that, right? First of all, that's the most I've ever heard Terry Lewis talking his whole life, okay? Can we just say that? Now, Hall of Fame to me means that it's excellence at something, right? It could be a sports Hall of Fame or it could be whatever. And even if you haven't played the sport or haven't watched it, if you don't know the songs, when you put Hall of Fame before it, all of a sudden it means something to people. So we thank the Hall of Fame for allowing us to be in. And then the nicest thing about it to me is that in sports, you have to be retired to get in, okay? Now, I don't see a gold watch quite yet, so I think we still got some time to get some things done, okay? The last thing I'll say is music, I call it the divine art. And I say that because if I said to you, what were you doing 20 years ago? And you might be able to piece it together in some sort of way. But if I play you a song from 20 years ago, every memory comes back. It's the key that unlocks everything. So when people say we're gonna cut the budgets in schools, and how are we gonna cut the budget? We're gonna take music out of schools. Are you kidding me? How do we learn our alphabet? We don't go A, B, um, C, no. We go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, what's that next? Right. No, we don't need the long version, we'll do the single version. Single edit. <laughs> Our goal is to leave music in a better place. That's me and Terry's goal at this point. We are celebrating 40 years. We did this, and we said 50-50. That's our contract. 40 years on that contract we've been together. And next year we will be celebrating our 50th year as friends. 19 and 73 we met. We've never had an argument. We've had disagreements, but a disagreement you're trying to solve, an argument you're trying to win. I don't want to win anything that he loses, and he feels the same way about me. So we're going to take this heavy-ass award, and we're going to enjoy it. We want to thank you guys so much. Thank you, everybody. Rock and roll, baby.